What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another Crossing Void video. Last video we talked about talents, today we're going to be talking all about equipment. Uh, now that we got to a point where I'm starting to get to 20 max, level 40 equipment, I really want to get into this and really help you guys out. So if you guys are struggling, getting past certain stages, uh, confused as to whether or not you should plus gear, which gear you should plus, how you should plus it, whether you should infuse it, how to get infusion materials, all that jazz, we're going to talk about equipment today so without further ado guys let's go ahead and dive on in so as we get into this we are going to use alice as an example amongst some other characters to show you guys exactly what i mean now for a simple breakdown of how gear is going to work all the way from green gear all the way up to orange or epic gear or c all the way to s uh, there's a bunch of things that i want to include so we're going to start with green gear first so you guys can see this now i want you guys to understand that this game is a little bit different than other gacha games so when you guys get your green gear when you guys first start in the game you guys are going through what i advise is don't really stress out too much about the random stats that are going to appear on your green gear what's important about your green gear or your c grade gear is that it only maxes at level four so what's going to happen is just for the basis of comparison you guys can see the difference here s grade has one two three four five six seven substats and c grade gear just has one so with the one piece of gear here or the one substat here it's only going to max at level four so i think a big mistake that I made when I started out it was I thought that I was going to replace my earlier gear quickly so when I looked at my equipment I didn't plus it up I didn't plus it I didn't infuse I can't remember if you can infuse this or not but I, I didn't even bother I just was like yeah whatever I just didn't worry about until I started getting thumped on in the actual scenario or the adventure mode itself and then I found that once I started plusing my gear up to level four like my green gear initially then it allowed me to start clearing content a lot easier. Understand that if you guys are starting out in the game, as I talked about in multiple videos, that your pairs are kind of like one team, essentially, or one unit, essentially, and that you're going to feel weak a little bit because the way that the stats ramp up with the gear throughout the game is pretty dramatic, okay? So when you go through this and you guys are looking at your equipment, don't be afraid to plus your gear. So as we go through this, guys, you guys can expect this is kind of like a guideline and like a little bit of a progression video mixed into one. So after you guys get into your green gear, that's the first thing you guys are going to do. So you guys are going to look at your your, your character. So let's say Alice is your character uh, and you started with green gear. You're going to get a set of green gear on your starter characters and you're going to max that immediately. It doesn't matter what it is. If you get subsets that are attack percent, great, you know, for your damage dealers or whatever. Uh, but that's typically what you're looking for. Now, as you go through this, the first step that you're going to want to do is the biggest question, too, that I get a lot is how do we get the blue gear? And blue gear becomes available one of two ways. So when you guys are going through the game, you guys are going to want to go to your challenge dungeon, okay? So when you go to challenge, treasure hunt is probably where you're going to spend a majority of your time. And what's going to happen is as you guys go through whatever stage you guys are going to go through, once you get into stage one here, let me move over here to stage one. That's not stage one. You guys will start with the green gear. Now, the most important thing is leveling up your account initially. So it's not necessarily about leveling up your heroes because your heroes are locked behind your actual account level itself so a lot of people ask me like yo d um how do i level up faster and in this game unfortunately it's a one-to-one -one ratio so for every one energy you spend you get one experience point so what i recommend is as you guys are kind of going through the game and you guys are trying to get your gear pay attention to what level you need to get to so you guys can unlock shinto secret 2 or stage 2 once you get to stage two, you guys are going to get your blue gear. Now, once you guys get into blue gear, and I want to point this out too as well in my inventory, but once you guys get into blue gear, what's going to happen is now you have a couple of stats, and here's where you're going to really start to pay attention, okay? Now, this doesn't mean that you're going to spend a lot of time here on blue gear. You're just going to start to roll this to eight. Now, the reason why you're going to max your blue gear is because there's a lot of quest rewards that are going to come with this, and this is also going to amplify your power. You're not really going to start getting super duper picky here on blue gear at all, really, because even though blue gear is a lot better than the green gear, so B grade is better than C grade, um, it just gives you an opportunity to get more substats. And blue gear is still relatively cheap. So what's going to happen is once you guys start getting into blue gear, you're going to get all your blue gear on whatever six heroes you guys are working with, and you guys are going to start to trash your green gear. Now, I know it's going to sound crazy, but like, well, why can't I just put that gear on another hero? It's because this is going to allow you to have a very 
significant stockpile of XP potions, uh, especially starting out. Because when you're starting out, you're going to be spending your coin and your gear is not going to get that expensive yet to enhance. So when you guys are researching your equipment here, after you guys click research, uh, what will happen is you guys will then start to plus your gear. Now, after you transmute or transmit or decompose uh, this equipment, and if you guys are wondering how to decompose your equipment after you have it, when you guys go to your bag, you go to your equipment section, all you guys are going to do is hit this decompose button here. You guys can select multiple and then you can select the colors you want and then it'll select the stuff and it'll automatically convert it into XP potions for you. And we'll talk about other ways to get XP potions as well for those of you guys who are running a little low. Now, the big thing here is now that you've gotten to a point where you're looking at your characters and you've gotten, let's say, you know, a steady set of blue gear, you're gonna convert all of your green gear into mats. And then at that point, you're gonna keep going until you have blue gear on all of your team. So all, your entire team, blue gear, max blue gear at level eight. Like I said, this is going to involve you doing some quests. And with those quests, it's going to allow you to kind of do what you need to do. Now, the next part we're gonna talk about is purple gear or A gray gear. And this is where things start to get important. And I'm just going to say this up front that at level 16, so level 16 purple gear is literally all you need to carry you all the way to S grade gear. Okay. So now granted, things are going to start to get expensive here. So when you start to look at your purple gear, things are still a little bit RNG. So for those of you guys who don't know what RNG is, it's still super random. But ideally, this is where you're going to start really focusing on what type of stats are you're going to have on your character. Now, I won't say necessarily that you're going to start getting super picky here. Like, you're not going to be like, oh, well, you know, I'm not using purple gear, you know, yada, 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 unless it has such and such stats on it. But you're going to start really paying attention to and start asking yourself what type of gear you want on your heroes. So as you guys go through these hunts and you guys get to, let's see what stage here, Shinto Secret 3, I'm pretty sure. Uh, you have a chance, a pretty low chance here for gear to drop. But what's going to happen is you guys are going to start farming these secret notes. And secret notes is where you're going to start basically buying because it's only like 60 pieces to buy purple gear. And the same thing that you did with your blue gear here is now you're going to upgrade to your purple gear. Now, a great place to farm um, basically mats or XP mats is the treasure hunt. If you guys are in a guild, make sure you guys get with your guild leaders or guild officers so they can give you guys that 20% extra potion drop rate um, in here because that's a really nice way. But outside of that, as you guys upgrade to purple gear, and let me show you guys here what you know purple gear looks like so you guys can get a kind of feel for this too because some of my heroes are still on full perp gear but when you get on the perp gear like i said 16 is enough to carry you all the way to s grade it's going to be a significant investment but it's absolutely worth i tried to cheat and see if i can get by with like plus 12 you know level level 12 gear it didn't really work out too well but at 16 it was pretty much smooth sailing so like i said when you start looking at this gear you're going to want to start asking yourself because when you get to s grade gear things are going to get a little complicated <laughs> all right or at least a little bit more in depth so as you get into your purple gear you're going to start gearing your heroes all their purple gear as well and then once you convert everything to purple gear you're going to do the same thing you did with your c grade gear uh, and you're going to trash all of that. You're going to trash all your blue gear, all your B grade gear, all of your C grade gear. All of that is now going to become mats. And what I recommend here is while you guys are gearing your heroes, and I'll show you guys a full list here of my characters. But as you guys are gearing your heroes, what I recommend doing is focusing on your primary damage dealers first. So for me, it was going to be Alice and Miyuki. So with these two characters, I wanted to focus on getting them a full 20 set. And then with the full 20 set, then what I started to do is instead of moving like all of my purple gear and trying to build a ton of different heroes, I just started to trash my perp gear. So my strategy here is I'm focusing on one primary team with two alternates. And the two alternates basically being a support like Karino or like a, you know, Ui, Uiharu or something like that. Some kind of healer, right, that I can swap in. But outside of that, I'm looking at building teams and then keeping my surplus of XP items in stock. So anyway, so any of the purple items that I take it that I took off of my heroes, so like as I replace, you know, Wilhelmina's items, as I replace Kudo's items, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trash those. Because what's going to happen is as you guys are looking at purple gear, what I recommend is this. 
when you look at your equipment and you guys are trashing all these items and you guys are getting purple shards even with the spare purple gear that you might not use because when you guys look at purple gear if it's a set that you're not going to use and this is important you want to look at the sets that you're able to buy and i'll show you guys where to buy in a second and i want you guys to determine what sets you guys are going to use and what sets you guys are not going to use because with the sets that you're not going to use what's going to happen is you're going to be able to get some gear that you're going to be able to dismantle and then once you dismantle that you're going to start doing something called the infusion process and what I did for myself was instead of infusing all this because it's a waste of coin what I recommend is for your supports is just focus on the attack stat plus your mains so you can get your damage as high as you can and the reason why I say don't invest in this too much with the infusion especially on your a grade gear is because you're going to transition into s pretty quickly and that's extra coin that you could be using to infuse your s grade gear so what I recommend is focusing solely on your attack so if you got like three or four attacks then just max your attack stats don't worry about your HP don't worry about your defense none of that stuff it's not going to be that important trust me especially after you guys get your gear to 16 so I did the same thing on all of my purple gear here with you know all of my characters and I just focused on the attack and it was fine I didn't really need a bunch of extra HP or nothing like that um, that on top of like really maximizing my gear and making sure that everything was in place really helped me out so now in terms of buying your gear the most important thing that you can do or one of the most important things that you can do is when you guys go to the shop and you guys look at your gear I advise you guys to go through and look at all the sets and see which ones you want where so if you're building tankier heroes which I don't recommend especially not on a grade yet but just for example if you're building tankier heroes and you're going for the old damage reduction or the total absorbable damage of a shield let's say if you're building shield type heroes like uh, Kirito or Alice or uh, Silvari or stuff like that then you guys can look at these sets but what I recommend ideally is just focus on the damage sets for now because your builds especially in a grade aren't going to be that diverse yet because there's not that big of a stat variance and then once you guys get to s grade then you can really start to diversify your builds uh, because once you get to s grade you're, st you're gonna start to work with a lot of stats and a lot of different things and you unlock weapons at 45 and things are gonna start to get a little interesting and the reason I say that is when we start to look at equipment in terms of s grade once you get to 20 things start to change quite a bit and the reason I say that is because you have a lot more control over what your stats are going to be so if you notice on an s grade piece of gear you have seven different substats and the things get even more interesting when you go to research because then you have full control over your infusion right and you're going to do the same thing here with your s grade gear you're going to look at what gear sets you're going to use for particular types of heroes and then you're also going to identify sets you probably won't use and then those sets that you're not going to use you're going to use to dismantle to potentially get materials to a get xp for your gear right so xp items and then you're also going to potentially get items that will allow you to convert now this conversion thing only becomes available once you hit level 20 on your s grade gear and what this allows you to do is convert your stats so for instance if i wanted to go full hp here i can change this crit rate into the stat that i want like let's say if i wanted hp percent here we can do that but again you're going to need this material that's obtained when dismantling s grade equipment and you can also use it to convert s grade equipment random stats right so um, this is something here that you guys really really want to pay attention to and i wouldn't really start trying to focus on like you know getting creative in your builds until you guys start to get to s grade equipment because this is when you have a little bit more freedom to do so so here is when you're going to actually really start leveling your gear and it's really expensive from 16 to 20 just to give you guys an idea it cost me 129,000 gold so this is going to be a significant investment when you guys are looking at gear overall and the big thing here with gear is like I said you guys are going to make sure that you identify the characters that you want to primarily work on um, and try to get their gear sets locked into place I don't recommend trying to get epic sets for every single hero in your box right away what I recommend you do is with the drops that you get from the treasure hunt you know in terms that are epic when you do get lucky you do get those gear drops if the sets are matching put them where you need to put them um, and then with the extra you know scrolls that you get for buying sets try to put the sets together on your primary heroes again my primary focus for me right now is Alice and Miyuki and then as I finish out their pairs I'm gonna do Kuro next and then I'm gonna do probably Wilhelmina after we finish uh, Kuroko right so trying to focus on too many will spread your resources too thin especially with how expensive this is going to be 
because to give you guys an idea, it's about a million gold um, just for one character to get, you know, one set of 20 gear, right? So with two characters, that's like two million gold. So it's going to be quite expensive. And this is why you guys are going to want to kind of stretch this out a little bit and really think about, you know, what heroes you want to work on before you just start to go all in. Because from 1 to 40 is really your opportunity to play with different builds, especially while you guys are still working with A-grade gear. Um, because it'll allow you some flexibility and it's not as expensive if you make a mistake or you decide to change your mind. Once you get into S-grade, things start to get very, very expensive. Just like in terms of infusing your stats, it's crazy. It's like 20k, 30k for one full, full max S-grade because the S-grade stats are twice as much as the A-grade. But when you look at that, this is why it helps to identify A, what gear sets you want to use based on the team that you have. Um, B, what characters you're not going to be building, right? And establishing your team so you know where to put your stats and then making adjustments slowly as you continue to plus your gear. So just a quick rehash over this. When you guys start the game, you guys are going to get your green gear on all of your team as you guys are deciding who your team is going to be. You guys can ask questions. You guys can come in the stream. We'll help you formulate a team based on what you have. Now, understand that any character in the game can be good. Any team com combo can be good as long as it works together. So you're going to max your green gear. Okay, then you're going to try to upgrade. You're going to level up to whatever level you need to get to to get into that specific dungeon so you can get the blue gear. Once you get the blue gear, you're going to max your blue gear. You're not going to be paying too much attention. You're not really worried too much about a fusion uh, on blue gear either. Your main goal is to get to A grade gear as soon as possible. Once you get to A grade gear, this is when you're going to start to invest. You're going to infuse attack stats only. As my, as my recommendation, just so you can boost your damage, it's going to allow you pretty much with any team to really get through the game. And then once you get your gear to plus 16, your A grade gear to plus 16 with only the attack sets inf infused, then what I recommend is, again, dismantling the stuff so you can keep that steady flow of, of, of gear. Again, you're going to be dismantling anything less than what you're currently using so you can keep that flow as well. And as you farm the treasure hunt and you start to get into S grade gear or the epic gear or orange gear or whatever you want to call it, um, then you're going to start dismantling your purple gear as well. And all of your focus is going to go to the gold gear. Okay, so that's just it's just kind of a rinse repeat system. I was playing with this a uh, big mistake that I made when I started looking at this is I was trying to gear too much stuff up. And then when I really kind of just laser focused and focus on like six people, I'm like, all right, look, these teams are going to be my jam. They're going to be the strongest I can make them It allowed me to just kind of get over on content that I otherwise wouldn't have been able to clear based on skills alone. But just because of the sheer strength of the gear, it just allowed me to just breeze through, right? So with that, when you guys are looking at your equipment, the most effective way I found is just, you know, move up and then trade out. Move up and then trade out. Move up and trade out. And the most important thing is, again, going to be your account level so you guys can continue to move forward in the dungeons. And again, damage is going to be most important. Healing is not really as important unless it's a very specific stage where you need to cleanse or you need to remove buffs off the enemy. But I think more damage in the beginning is most effective to just get through the game. You could just power through. And then once you get to S grade again, that's when you're really going to start looking at, OK, how do I want my team to look? And then from there, you're just preparing. And then once you get to level 45, you unlock weapons and then the real game starts. So anyway, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to cover today in terms of basic equipment. I uh, just wanted to kind of go over the overflow and kind of what to do with your gear as you guys are collecting gear. So you guys know what to do, what not to do, and then how to really focus and lock in stuff so you guys can save as many resources as you possibly can uh, while going through this on a progression scale using your equipment. So Thank you guys so much for tuning in. As always, it's your boy, Damone. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.